Good morning, Jumpstart Nation. Man, I'm having technical difficulty. It looks like my uh, phone is um, real fuzzy, like the, the focus on it's fuzzy. So I don't, I don't really know what's going on with that. But uh, I decided to go ahead and go for it. That's what the delay was all about. But good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, December the 7th. Monday. Praise God. Man, what a great day to be alive, man. It's so good to see everybody. Praise God. Good morning, Ginger. Good morning, Ron. Let me adjust this light just a little bit. Praise God. It's good to see everyone. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Good morning. Good morning. God is so good. Praise God, man. So thankful for his faithfulness. Hallelujah. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Barbara. Praise God. Good morning. Good morning, Mally. How you doing, bro? Praise God. We're going to speak the word. That's what this is all about. That's the mission of the Jumpstart Nation. Good morning. Yeah, I know, Cliftina. I, I wiped off the lens. Um, anyway, in Jesus' name, we're still going to jumpstart. Had to work through the sound issue a couple weeks ago. And uh, hey, Paige, good morning. Good morning. Had to work through the sound issue a couple weeks ago, and uh, so we'll figure it out. I'll look at it later. That's why the delay, I was having trouble getting the, uh, the phone to look clear. So uh, anyway, glory to God. It doesn't matter. I'm going to speak the word whether I've got a fuzzy phone or not. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey, Barbara, good morning. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning, Mary. Praise God. Got some word talkers coming on this morning. Word speakers, word talkers. Good morning, Priscilla. Blessings to you from Maysville. We bless you. Amen. Me too, Mary. Man, I, I, I'm so thankful for JPN, the Jumpstart Nation. JSN. So thankful for the Jumpstart Nation. Praise God. Hey, honey. Yeah, I know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. It could be the reflections of the light in the back. That is true. That's a good point. So maybe I can't do the uh, Christmas trees in the background tomorrow, but we're just going to go ahead and go for it. Listen, man, as, whether I'm fuzzy or not, hey, let's speak the word of God. Let's get this done. Let's don't be distracted by it. I know you won't be, and I won't be. Hey, Donna, good morning. Good to see you. Praise God. Praise God. As I was uh, seeking the Lord and, uh, and just kind of you know speaking the word, meditating the word, seeking the Lord, it seemed good. It seemed really good. By the way, just everybody that's come on, good morning and happy Monday. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Um, as I was, good, okay, good. Thank you, Priscilla. What's up, Brother David, LaParsha? Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Victory Tribe is coming up in the Jumpstart Nation. Amen. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Praise God. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, good morning. Praise God. Amen. So yeah, so Rhea is Byron Z. Mills Ministries. So uh, my honey is on. Praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning, Ginger. Well, congratulations, Priscilla. All right, good. Praise God. Awesome. Anyway, as I was waiting and uh, seeking the Lord, meditating, quoting the word, speaking the word, man, I love fellowshipping with the Father just speaking his word back to him, man. I'm, and I know he loves it. He loves it when we're impressed with what he says. <laughs> you know? I mean, what father doesn't love that their kids think that their dad, their daddy, is awesome? And I think our Abba Father is awesome. And I just I love to quote his word back to him and just say, that is awesome. That's awesome. Uh, today I was speaking 2 Corinthians 5.17, if any man be in Christ, he is a brand new creation. Old things, the old stuff has passed away. All of it's passed away. And uh, I was speaking that, and then the next part is, behold, all things have become new. I said, wow, God, that's awesome. Newness, newness of life. Amen. Newness, Lord. I said, that is awesome. Uh, you are amazing at how you have made everything inside of me brand new. Father, you are amazing. I love it, man. Just newness of life. But as I was waiting on the Lord and speaking the word, I didn't get all the way through the stuff that I like to speak and meditate when he kind of arrested my attention and uh, wants us to just jump start on the subject of rest. Rest. 
jumpstart on the area of rest. Praise God. This supernatural, we have, he said this to me, we have a rest inheritance, a rest inheritance. He has given us an inheritance of rest. Isn't that amazing? Praise God. I love it. And uh, he said, I want you just to focus on speaking that out, manifesting that, declaring that, getting that out into the airways of the Spirit, rest. He said, as you speak about rest, the Jumpstart Nation talks about rest today. He said, you're going to be releasing an anointing of rest over your family, over your mind, over your body. Your spirit doesn't need it because it's coming out of your spirit. So, But out of our spirit, we're going to release the rest of God. Uh, we're going to be speaking rest over the nation, and um, it's going to be awesome. Praise God. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, it says, But seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And what things is he talking about? He's, uh, he says in verse 31, Therefore take no thought, no anxious thought. Don't take a thought. Man, that's powerful. He said, take no thought saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or with wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles or the nations seek. For your heavenly Father knows you have need of all these things, but seek you first the kingdom of God. See, we shouldn't be seeking the stuff. People are seeking stuff. They work, they work 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 hours a week Seeking, to, seeking money that they can eat, they can drink, seeking clothes, houses, lands, cars, trucks, boats, all that. They are all about seeking for the stuff. But God says, if you will take a different route and if you will seek, if you will seek the kingdom of God first, all these other things will be automatically added to you, just like Ginger's house was added to her. She's, she's been speaking the word, seeking the word, speaking the word of God, putting the kingdom of God first. All these things shall be added to you. But now here's what the Lord showed me today. He said all of this passage where he was talking here, he was talking about rest. He was talking about rest. He said, seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. God is adding things to us. He's adding things to you when you make his kingdom and his righteousness a priority. Now, what is the righteousness of God? One of the translations for the word righteous, diakosune, that's the Greek word, diakosune, one of the translations, definitions is as it ought to be. That's one of the definitions of righteousness, as it ought to be. So, when you are seeking first his righteousness, you are seeking that things be as they ought to be. How should your body be? It ought to be healed. Uh, righteousness in your body means absence of sickness, absence of disease. Divine health, health in your body, a healthy body is a righteous body. It's as it ought to be. What about your soul, where your mind, your will, your emotions, your feelings, all of that? Your soul, as it ought to be, when it's, when it's experiencing the righteousness of God, when your soul is as it ought to be, it's at rest. It's full of rest, full of peace, full of joy. Praise God. Full of love. Praise God. Your, your soul is at rest. That's as it ought to be. That's righteousness in the soul. Righteousness in your spirit is perfect love, perfect peace, perfect communion with the Holy Spirit. Man, praise God. Hallelujah. Say this out loud. I am in perfect communion with the Holy Spirit. I am in perfect communion with the Father. I am in perfect communion with the Son. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, listen, tomorrow we'll get the fuzzy thing taken care of. Let's just speak the word today. Amen. Praise God. Now, notice what he says here. He said um, in, in this passage about seek first the kingdom of God, the Lord said to me, the Holy Spirit said to me today, he said, this is about rest, supernatural rest, supernatural peace. He said, you can tell 
when you've made a priority. He said, the word seek you first, the kingdom of God. I asked him for 20 years, what does it mean to seek the kingdom of God? What does it mean to seek first the kingdom of God? And he, and he said to me um, today, he said, change the word seek first to prioritize. Make it a priority. I said, okay, we'll do that. So um, I said, but make the kingdom of God a priority. Make it a priority. Prioritize the kingdom of God. Prioritize his righteousness. And all these other things will be added to you. Make his kingdom a priority. Now he said, when you make the kingdom of God a priority, he said, you will begin to walk in a supernatural rest. He said, because there is no stress in my kingdom. He said, there is no stress, no dis-ease, no worry, no fear in my kingdom. He said, you can tell when you've made my kingdom a priority and my righteousness a priority because you will begin to walk in a supernatural rest, a supernatural peace. I said, Lord, how is that? He said, look at the context. Read that verse in context. Most of us word of faith confession people, right? Most of us name it, claim it people, <laughs> as they call us. Uh, we just sometimes are guilty of just one verse, focusing on one verse and not looking at the context. But notice what he says. The, the whole context begins in verse 25 where Jesus says, I say to you, take no thought for your life. Take no thought for your life. What you shall eat, what you shall drink, or what for your body, what you, you shall put on. He said, isn't life more than food and the body more than clothing? He said, behold, the fowls of the air, for they do not sow, neither do they reap, neither gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much better than, than they? He said, they don't sow, they don't reap. They don't gather in the barns. He said, here are these birds, and you're much more valuable than a bird. He said, and they're taken care of, and they don't even do sowing and reaping, and they're taken care of. And then he says, aren't you much better than they? Wow. Now watch this. He said, which of you, by taking a thought, taking a thought, we're going to talk about this in a second, can add one cubit to your height? And why take you thought for clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They do not toil, neither do they spin. They don't, even, they don't work to clothe themselves. They don't spin yarn and spin thread, and they don't knit, they don't sew. Yet God has so gloriously clothed these flowers in the field. You know what birds are for? To show you that God will always take care of you and feed you. Do you know what flowers are for? to show you how God wants to clothe you. That's what they are. That's what, these, that's what it's for. Now, he said, uh, Therefore I say to you that even Solomon in, in all his glory was not arrayed or clothed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more, much more, much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying... What shall we eat? What shall we drink? How are we going to be clothed? He said, seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added to you. Now, here's what the, the Amplified says and then we're going to jumpstart this. See, when you're walking and making the kingdom of God a priority, you're not taking anxious thoughts. Praise God. Listen, about three or four times, Jesus said in this passage, take no thought, take no thought, Take no thought. Why do you take thought? In other words, it's up to you which thoughts you take. You, here's the revelation. You choose, you can choose what thoughts you take. You can reject thoughts. That's what the revelation, you can reject thoughts. Somebody says, I just can't keep from worrying. That's a lie. That's not true. Jesus said you can reject thoughts. You can choose what thoughts to accept. You can choose what thoughts to reject. That's the truth. 
You have control of it. Don't let the devil tell you that you know, my mama was a worrier, my daddy was a worrier, my aunt and uncle, were, our whole family are worriers, and I'm a worrier too. No, Jesus said to us, he empowered us right here. He gave us our power back. He said, choose what thoughts you take. That's awesome. Hallelujah. Say this out loud. I can choose what thoughts I take, and I can choose what thoughts I don't take. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, watch this in, um, let me see, let me look at this. In the Amplified Version, yeah, he says in verse 25, Therefore I tell you, stop being perpetually uneasy, anxious, and worried about your life. Stop being perpetually uneasy, anxious, and worried about your life. He's not going to tell you to do something that you can't do. If you, he, he said, stop doing it. That means we can stop it. So let, now, now, where's the revelation in this? Because I know some of your thinking, as I was, wait a minute, how come I've struggled with anxiousness and fear and worry and stress? How come it's been so hard? Because the revelation is thoughts are taken by speaking them. So I can take anxious and uneasy and worried thoughts by me speaking them. I can also take the thoughts of God, the thoughts of peace, the thoughts of rest, the thoughts of his love, the thoughts of his provision, the thoughts that my body's healed and I'm going to live a long, healthy life. I can take those thoughts by speaking them. Thoughts may come and thoughts may go. But the only thoughts that get inside of you are the thoughts you begin to say, that you begin to speak. You can kill a thought by starving it of, of confession. Starve thoughts. If you don't want thoughts to stay, don't speak them. Let them die of malnutrition. Worried thoughts need to die of malnutrition, of you not speaking them. Now, here's what he said. Take no thought saying Take no thought saying. So let's say this out loud. I choose what thoughts I take by the thoughts I allow in my mouth. I choose what I speak. I prioritize the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And I'm resting in that kingdom. All right? Now, seeking first the kingdom of God includes walking in the peace of God. He said, seek you first the kingdom of God. Stop worrying. Stop having uneasy thoughts. Don't be full of anxiousness. Don't, be, don't get out of rest. Don't, don't, don't get out of the rest of God. And then the Lord said to me, and all these things will be added to you. And then here's what he said. He said, seeking first the kingdom of God will include walking in the peace of God. Romans 14, 17. Romans 14, 17. Man, praise God. Watch this. Here's what the kingdom of God is. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. It's not food and drinking laws. You can't drink this. You can drink that. You can't eat this. You can eat that. It's not about religious rules. He said, but the kingdom of God is righteousness, that's Matthew 6, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> We're not talking about joy. <laughs> we, hey, <woo. sighs> oh, every time, oh, glory. <laughs> we... <laughs> Ah, we live in a laughing kingdom. We are a kingdom of laughing priests. <laughs> Joy in the Holy Ghost. How do you know when the kingdom of God, how do you know when you've prioritized the kingdom of God? Because you're walking in righteousness consciousness. You're conscious that you're righteous. You're not conscious of your sins and your faults and your shortcomings and your errors. Number two, you're walking in supernatural rest, peace. And number three, you're, <laughs> you're walking in the joy 
of the Holy Ghost. And when you're walking in righteousness, consciousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost, all these things that everybody's worrying about will be added to you. Even regardless of who the president is, when you're walking in the kingdom of God and prioritizing righteousness, peace, <laughs> and joy in the Holy Ghost, say this out loud. I seek first the kingdom of God. It is my priority. I'm walking in righteousness consciousness, not sin consciousness. I'm walking above guilt and shame. There is no guilt or shame in my life. I'm fully approved and accepted by God. I'm enjoying the revelation of righteousness. I'm enjoying the peace of God. I'm walking in the rest of God. The kingdom that I'm in has no stress, absolute peace. <laughs> I am walking in the kingdom of joy. Joy in the Holy Ghost. I am a laughing child of God. The joke is on the devil. And heaven thinks it's funny. <laughs> So when you seek first the kingdom of God, that means you're walking in righteousness, the revelation that you're righteous in spite of your shortcomings, that you're approved of God, accepted by God. You're walking in the peace of God, and you're walking in the joy of the Holy Ghost. You have a divine laughter in you, a divine joy. You win, you win, we win. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Say it out loud. I'm walking in the kingdom of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. And all these things are being added to me. Say this out loud. Proverbs 10.22 declares that the blessing of the Lord brings wealth. Without painful toil. The blessing of the Lord is bringing me spiritual wealth. Rich communion in my spirit with the Holy Spirit. The blessing of the Lord is bringing soulish wealth. Wealth in my mind. Creative wealth, emotional wealth, joy and peace in my soul, creative ideas every day. The blessing of the Lord has made my soul wealthy. Say this, the blessing of the Lord in the kingdom of God has brought me physical wealth. I'm wealthy with physical health. From the top of my head to the soles of my feet. The blessing of the Lord is making me materially wealthy. Financially stable. Without painful toiling for it. Oh, glory to God. All these things, internally and externally, are being added to me. Because I'm walking in righteousness, peace, 
and joy in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> okay, one more verse. Here we go. Rest, rest, rest. Say it out loud. I'm resting in the kingdom. Say this. There's, there's rest in the kingdom. As I rest, I'm being blessed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God doesn't want your prayer life to be a life of begging and pleading and struggling and sweating, uh, of begging and pleading with God. And he doesn't want you living a life where you have to work 100 hours a week and destroy your body and destroy your family and you can't go to church and you can't pray and you can't seek the Lord and you can't spend time with your family. No, he wants you to work hard, but he wants you to work out of a place of rest. You can work hard on the outside while you're resting on the inside. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Because you're not trusting your work. You're trusting the kingdom. Amen. Now, he said, as we continue to walk in peace and rest, all things are added to us. Rest is the posture. I like this. He said to me today, I wrote so fast it's almost in tongues. Rest is the posture of the kingdom of God. Rest is the posture of the kingdom of God. There is no stress in God's kingdom and there is no stress in you. Hallelujah. Say this out loud. Out loud. I live in a stress-free kingdom. Now, we're going to jumpstart this last verse and we'll pick up with this uh, tomorrow, praise God. I didn't get it all done, but we're going to pick this up tomorrow. Watch this. Watch this. Colossians chapter um, 1, verse 12 and 13. Giving thanks unto the Father. Giving thanks unto the Father. To our our dad, our Abba. (laughs) Giving thanks unto the Father, which has made us qualified to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light. Now, let's just go ahead and jumpstart it, then I'll get to the next verse, which is where I'm headed. Say this out loud. I give thanks unto my Father who has qualified me to be a partaker of the inheritance of the saints in the light. The Father approves of me. The Father's delighted in me. I am a partaker. Then he said, who has delivered us from the power of darkness. And ha- here it is. Here it is. Here's where we're finishing right here. And God has translated me into the kingdom of his dear son. We've been translated into the kingdom where we are perfectly righteous the kingdom of supernatural peace and the kingdom of supernatural joy. Oh, glory. We're living in a stress-free kingdom. And in that kingdom, there is no lack. There's abundant provision both inside for your insides and for your outside. Praise God. Say this out loud. Oh, glory to God. Say this out loud. Father has delivered me from the power of darkness and he has translated me into the kingdom of his dear son. I now live in a stress-free kingdom. I live in a kingdom where I am absolutely righteous. I'm absolutely accepted by God. I'm living in the kingdom of peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Say this, here's our final, here's our final jump start for the day. Say it out loud. I am at rest. And as I rest, I'm fully blessed. Supernatural rest is in me. 
and supernatural rest flows through me. I am a carrier of kingdom rest. I am a minister of rest. Glory be to God. Make sure you share this. We had some, hey, we share uh, that last Friday. I mean, it's like 30 some shares. It was like a record, a record amount of shares. God bless you guys. Sorry about the visual, so fuzzy. We'll work that out. I'll figure it out, see what's going on. Love you guys. See you tomorrow at nine o'clock. You are rest, you're resting, and you uh, are blessed in Jesus' name. God bless you guys.